Hi everybody, welcome to Rhythmworks. My name is Cole McAvoy. I teach guitar, bass, and drums. And I thought I would give you a little uh, warm-up exercise here today to get your fingers moving. Um, great for playing, learning how to play scales. Great for your chord structures, moving your fingers around. Just an awesome little technique to uh, work on getting your playing a little more solid. Basically, we're gonna cover two things. We're gonna cover the warm-up exercise and we're gonna cover some counting um, some counting exercises to play your warm-up exercise too. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> I guess uh, I should say that when I, when I talk about moving up the neck, I'm talking about moving up the neck um, tonally, la 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 la, higher, lower, okay, in tone, okay. And uh, it's, we're going to assume that you already know what the tuning pegs are and the frets and that you have a guitar. Uh, these warm-up exercises work on acoustic as well. I tend to play electric. Um, you have an amp, okay, you're good there. You know how to tune your guitar, things like that, okay. So, um, and it's really good too if you happen to be a, uh, if you're a tab, you know, master and got a bunch of great licks down. This is good stuff to get you ready for what's next, okay, as far as scales are concerned and chords and what scales go with what chords, okay, that good stuff. So anyway, without any further ado, let's get rocking, okay. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to start, we're going to take our fingers, we're going to number our fingers, okay, one, two, three, and four, okay. And we're going to come down here to the sixth string, okay. And we're going to start at the lowest fret, and we're going to play. I'm going to pick along, downstrokes only for now, on the sixth string. One, two, three, four. Okay? Then we're going to move to the next string. One, two, three, four. And then the next string, and so on. Okay? Onto each string until we reach the first string. And what we're going to do when we get here, we're going to slide up a fret, and then we're going to play backwards. Four, three, two, one. And so on. Okay, then we will move to the next. Move up to the next one. Okay, work our way up the neck. Okay, so there you go. Now. Equally as important, timing, okay? You need something to play to. You have to have something to play to. You're always going to be playing to something, okay? Um, you can use a, a metronome, great tool, boring, okay? I find them boring. Um, so, but, or, but they work, okay? <clears throat> or you can use, if you have a keyboard, you have a cheesy little keyboard around, or a nice keyboard around, you have usually some drum beats on there, you can get something going, boom, 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 okay? Um, you can download something, you can listen to the internet, okay? You can probably have an app, I'm sure there's an app, there's a metronome app, there must be, okay? And uh, that would work too, okay? But basically what we're looking for, we're looking for quarter notes. One, two, three, four, okay? Over and over again. And we've all seen quarter notes, okay? They got the little, the little, the little, you know, the, the lower part and the, and the stem here, okay, without a flag, quarter notes, okay? Um, but mostly we want to just think about them for counting, right? Now what I use for my metronome is a, uh, I use a loop station. I use an, uh, a Boss RC2, okay, which I find pretty cool. Um, so what I'll do is I'll kick my loop station on, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll either play a bar chord, if I don't have to play a bar chord, I'll just take all my fingers, okay, and kind of mute the whole thing, you know, the little palm muting, okay, a lot of you metalheads know all about that. Okay, and uh, kind of just cruise along to get a little beat going, okay? So I kick, on my, I kick on my loop station, lay a little beat down. Easier said than done. Okay, here we go. Not bad. Close enough for rock and roll. Okay, and uh, which is okay, because I find, uh, I like the loop station I like the fact that it moves around a little bit sometimes even because bands move around a little bit. So if you if you get into this perfect timing thing, you're going to have a lot of trouble because most people are not right in there. You just want to make the soul of the group sound good. So um, both ways is best. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start our exercise again. Two, we're going to go down to the bottom. Okay, one, two, three, four. Here we go. Okay, count in. Three, four. Here we go. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
you're obviously going to want to speed this up as you get better because it can be a long process, okay? And then we move up another fret and start our way back up the fret, okay? So, all right, so that's the first phrase, okay? We call that one, two, three, four, okay? It's also known as a chromatic. It could be called a chromatic scale because you're playing every note that's available to you on your guitar, okay? Or the piano or the flute or whatever. Okay, so <clears throat> now there are two other phrases that we can use. Um, that work just as well, okay? And uh, what we call them, we call this next one is a one, three, two, four, okay? So I get my click back on there, cruising along to my quarter notes, one, two, and I start up the neck, okay? I got a one, three, two, four, one, three, two, four, one, three, Come back with four, two, three, one, four, two, three, one, four, two, three, one, four, two, three, one, and so on. Okay? Until I get back down to the bottom, okay? Then we slide up again, okay? That's the whole idea. So far, I've been just playing quarter notes, okay? A lot of times, I'll just start, okay? So let me show you the difference between quarter notes and eighth notes. Okay, quarter notes are gonna be one, two, three. Eighth notes are gonna double up. Quarter notes. Eighth notes. Quarter notes. exercise in that last demo there I started to alternate pick I'm moving my finger my, my pick up and down down up down up down up as opposed to down 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 alternate. there's there's quite a few ways you can manipulate this 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 warm up exercise and make it uh, really working for you okay sometimes I don't feel like going up and down the neck I'll start in the middle you know I'll just cruise along and just do it. and so on okay so now now one more one more cool exercise, okay, we go back to the first one, we talked about the one, two, three, four. Okay, what we want to do is we want to use two separate strings on this one, okay? And basically we're going to start, we're going to play one, we're going to move to the next string and play the two on the next string. Back to the sixth string, up to the fifth string, and then we're going to move the whole thing up. And so on, and then backwards, four, three, two, one, two different strings. Okay, that's a cool one. That's a little bit harder. That's really great for. Uh, it's really great when you start playing chords because your fingers move around better. It's very cool. So um, there you go. I think that I think we pretty much covered it for a nice basic warm up lesson there today. And uh, I want to thank you for for checking in and checking out my video. And I promise uh, this will make you a happy guitar player. There's a real uh, lack of of young um, guitar players around. Uh, it's becoming quite obvious. So if you're playing, if you're looking into it, rock on. You will have a great time, and you'll just, it's a great thing to do. you really enjoy it. So thanks again, Cole McAvoy, Rhythmworks. Have a great day.